Pisces. Pisces, it's love read time. We're going to do a love read for you. We're going to use one deck for you. One deck for your partner. We're going to look at current energy. Out, or sorry, current energy, desire, outcome. What's working for you and what you may need to be aware of. So Pisces, let's look at how you are feeling towards your partner. How is Pisces feeling towards their partner? Well, it seems like you can see this person like the Queen of Wands. You see them as somebody that's sort of like, they're action-oriented, they take a lot of effort, or uh, they're highly busy. But at the same time, they're highly attractive to you. Uh, you can see that in your desires, you see that you want people to notice what you have. And then the outcome is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is your energy, and it's nice to be standing in that. What you need to be aware of, or sorry, what's working for you is uh, the death card. Death card does not mean death. Uh, it can be major transformation. You can see this little individual is handing flowers to this uh, knight. And so there can be a lot of change that's going on for you right now. And then what you need to be aware of is the two of cups. So that this relationship does have a beginning for you. Now let's start to clarify what is going on for you, and then we will get into their cards. So how, why is the Queen of Wands here? Well, how you're seeing them is we have the Sun, the King of Pentacles, and the Tower. Now the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy, and then we have the Tower, um, and the tower is one of those moments where it, to me, is a, it's like this super moment in time. I just love the tower because it's a moment in time where people can get absolute clarity. There is like, woohoo, you know, it's brilliant, it's bright, it burns on your retinas, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, tower can be Aries, and then of course we have the Sun, which can be Leo. But as this goes on, your partner sees like sees you as this person that can do everything, and they're really becoming to realize that. Now, why is the Six of Wands here? Well, the Six of Wands is clarified by the Five of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. It seems like, although you want this type of relationship, or this individual, you've kind of got your doubts. You've got your doubts that they're actually going to come forward and really sort of offer anything that is substantial for you. Uh, we have this Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, um, you're sort of defend. You're, this one is your back sort of against the wall. You're defending sort of what you've built. Um, why is the King of Cups here? Well, King of Cups you standing in your own energy it's like you need to start something new there's an opportunity or a major choice that's coming with the fool uh, that can be Aquarius and then also we have um, the karma card or judgment and this can be something from the past coming back that needs to be dealt with and you're going to need you to use your wisdom around that but at the same time, this could be a new start for you with respect to work that you did not even see coming, uh, or a new start with this person. And it kind of renews the relationship between the two of you. For some of you, it may be somebody that's coming back from the past. Uh, what is the death card?
It seems like you're tired of working on things. Um, you're just tired. It seems like you've put a lot of effort into things, um, and you're tired. But you know that in order to get things going, you need to work with this person and create that stability together. And there's possibly some things in the past or just in belief systems in general that you need to look at in order for this to move forward for you <clears throat> as you go through the changes. And maybe this is your relationship is changing to where you're both putting in the work in order to start working together to create that stability. Uh, what is this Two of Cups? Now, we have the Hermit, the Three of Wands, and we have the Page of Swords. It seems like you're finding your path. It seems like possibly they're finding their path, or you guys are trying to find your path together and figure out really sort of what you want. Um, you've got to think it through. You've got to be smart about it because uh, we've got this Page of Swords. Page of Swords is not my favorite card. Uh, it is one of those cards where um, it's kind of like just this little shit is blocking you uh, and delaying things a little bit. That's it, Pisces. That is what I have for your side. Now I want to pull for your partner. Keep in mind that things could be reversed, so this deck that I'm about to deal now could be your energy. So how is your person feeling towards you. How is Pisces person feeling towards them? Well, there's some indecision. This is kind of interesting. Uh, the Two of Swords. So there's indecision and they're trying to make a choice. They're trying to use their head about moving forward. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords. Uh, Ten of Swords can be a couple of different things. Uh, it can be the end of a cycle, uh, or it can be failed plans. So maybe something went on here where they were like, wow, you know, things were moving along. Somebody hit a bump, wheels fell off, and they're just kind of like, shit. Ooh, and then we have the tower. So, in the outcome, they have the tower. Now, this is something that they may not be aware of uh, that comes out and blindsides them. There's some anxiety that they're dealing with, and that's helping the situation. And then we have the emperor uh, that shows up in what they need to be aware of, and that emperor is... they're stable. Uh, they're ambitious and they really sort of want to pursue this with you. So why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? So we've had two cards of Aries show up. For So, Two of Swords. They're sharing their hopes and dreams with you. They're sharing a lot of the things uh, that were in their past. We have the um, High Priestess that shows up. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So there's progression here. Um, and you can see that even with the High Priestess here, they know that there's a lot of unexplored potential with you. Uh, at the same time, this is where I get the feeling that uh, you're younger than them. So I almost want to say like the High Priestess is almost like um, there's some immaturity there. I could be wrong. Uh, what is the Ten of Swords? They see this partnership, they want to get things moving with you, but at the same time, they're still following or trying to figure out what their path is. Um, 
the knight of swords to me is or sorry knight of uh wands is one of those ones it's a um to me it's just typically a a move in type of situation and they're trying to figure out what is the best option for them uh and for you so and then we have the hermit and the hermit is just figuring out what is the best path to take with this to bring about that type of success now the tower is clarified by the ten of cups the three of cups and the ace of wands now this is really beautiful with ten of cups the three of cups and the ace of wands so starting they'll come to a realization that this is exactly what they want that they want to create that life with you that they want to create and celebrate life with you and start a new life so that um yeah that's just kind of really beautiful actually uh what is the 9 of swords why is the 9 of swords here well 9 of swords is anxiety uh there's a lot of fear um and excuse me we have the page of pentacles the 2 of pentacles and the queen of swords they're trying to be very decisive they're wait there's news that they're hoping is going to come in uh and they're trying to balance everything in their life right now the things that they know they enjoy the things that are unseen the path they want to follow they're trying to juggle their emotions uh and they're kind of worried that they're going to get their head cut off by the queen of swords which i'm kind of taking as as your energy uh that or they're trying to be very decisive uh use their head around things and cut out what isn't working for them now why is the emperor here now the emperor is clarified by the 7 of pentacles, 9 of cups and the queen of wands. They see that there's a future here. They see that there is success here. They see that you are this individual that they just adore. Uh we have the queen of wands. And they look at you and it just fits for them. and they can see that there's a lot of potential here um and stability with making those other dreams come true. So we've had like the 9 of cups, the 10 of cups, the 3 of cups. Um now I want to pull three more cards for them and then three more cards for you. 8 of pentacles, 3 of pentacles, 4 of wands. Work it baby, work it because whatever you guys are working on, working for and working together with will create the stability, happiness and desires that you want. Ooh, that sounded so good. Uh, let's go and pull three cards for you. It's all going to smooth out quicker than you think. Uh, once you get a handle on uh the smoke and mirrors um once you get away from yeah just this um this shadow side so just sort of being scared of your own shadow having other people control what you're thinking um people scaring the crap out of you type of thing pisces that's what i have for you today thank you for being here hopefully this shed some light on things for you Best of luck with this this week and uh let me know how it turns out for you. I'd be really curious. Thanks for being here. We'll talk soon.